guys welcome back to our channel so today I'm super excited because a little bit of my crazy chicken lady gets to come out um, which I try to keep under wraps and reserve most of the time but um, we're gonna talk about how your chickens can make you some real money and this isn't just like the three dollars and a dozen um, eating eggs that you can sell which I mean that's a great side hustle, especially during the winter if you're getting a few eggs here and there. Um, but what I want to talk about is the thousand dollars a week that 25 chickens can make you. And these are real numbers. This is how we're paying for our farm down in Nevada while we're still stuck here. Um, so we breed more than one variety and we don't keep 25 of one variety. Um, just spacing reasons, we need to bring them in, put them under artificial light. Um, and we just find that easier with smaller numbers. Um, that isn't something that you have to do. We do that because we want to start earlier in the season. Um, we actually started hatching out in January. We did some test hatches at the end of December there. Um, we had hatched out some new quail um, that we ordered in as supplements to our current breeding stock. So what I wanna go over today is how you can be doing this too. Um, these are easily attainable numbers. Um, and I mean, look at these cute little fluffy butts. How, look at the camera. Look, how do you not want to have more of these in your life? And this little guy, the quail just kill me. Look, look at how little it is. It's like a little, I don't know. Don't eat my ring, but they're so stinking cute. Anyways, oh, you're stuck. Anyways. So one way um, you can make money off of your chickens is hatching them out and selling these chicks. Now you better be able to let go of those cute little fluffy butts if that's what you want to do because they are hard to send out the door sometimes. But with some basic math, which if I can figure it out, we will add it up here in the corner. Um, if not, it'll be down in the comments below. Um, but with 25 chickens, so that's two roosters, 23 hens. And now that is a lot for your roosters to cover. However, a hen can hold, um, well, a rooster's juice for up to a month. If you have healthy stock, that fertility rate shouldn't be an issue. Um, I do always recommend testing your, your hatch rates and your fertility rates prior to selling hatching eggs. Um, but if you're hatching out your own chicks, you're going to be testing that anyhow. So, can you really make $1,000 a week off 23 hens? Absolutely. The best way to do that is invest in good purebred breeding stock. So these aren't your typical hatchery chickens. Um, not knocking hatchery chickens in any way. They do serve a purpose. Um, but you want to be breeding quality stock. So for us, we our big thing is we want to make sure we're selling hardy birds. Um, so we've held back hens that lay well, that hold up well in our climate. So we got hot, humid summers, um, hot, dry summers. It really is all over the place. Our winters get extremely cold um, and our birds need to handle that. Um, we don't like to baby them. So that's something to think about. You want to either be breeding those good genetics yourself or starting out with somebody else's birds that have done that. So another thing to keep in mind, um, like we keep smaller flocks because it is easier to sell a variety of chickens than selling a hundred of all the same. Although if you're looking for those standard breeds, like we all know them, um, the Bard Rocks are an excellent breed. Um, the Black Australorps, field folders, you name it. There are a ton of birds that people are wanting every year and you can buy them and sell them in good quantities easily. So the math on this, like let's get down to the real numbers here. So 25 chickens, 23 hens and two roosters. On average, we'll give you six eggs per week if you're going with quality stock. I mean, getting into some of the exotic breeds might not lay quite as much as much for you. Um, we find we have no problem getting six eggs a week from our Australorps, from our Brahmas, which are one of our absolute favorite breeds, from our Koshans. Believe it or not, our Silkies also give us six eggs a week. Um, another one that does that for us are Easter Eggers, which are actually a cross between Americanas 
and well summers. So sometimes they'll give, give us a bit more of an olive egg, but we're happy with that too. Be choosy about what you're getting. Um, if you have room for more chickens, absolutely go for more. Chicken milk, you're gonna end up with more. Um, so from those 23 hens, if you are getting six eggs per week, you should have 138 eggs at the end of the week. So if you're hatching out a 75% hatch rate, that gives you about 103.5. So we'll say 103 eggs. Those 103 eggs turn into 103 chicks for you, which on average, if you are selling quality purebred stock, you can get $10 per chick from. You can get more than that. That will give you $1,030 per week. We have no problem selling our chicks for that. Um, we have sold them for more in the past, um, but we found with our cost to raise them, a lot of people wanting to get started out, um, we lowered our price, not to try to undercut anybody else, but we found that last year a lot of people were really marking up prices and we just didn't really feel great about that. So we like to just keep it a flat $10 across the board. Um, and we find that in doing that, we're comfortable with that. Our silkies lay us a ton of eggs. Um, they eat less than our larger breeds, so it evens out our numbers there. Um, when it comes to feed rates, we buy our feed in bulk. So that helps us keep costs down. Um, and really, at the end of the day, those chickens, per day, if you're feeding organic feed at a quarter pound per day. Now, some breeds need more than that, some need less. Um, we like to make sure our layers are never without food. Um, they're really happy that way. So whether we're giving them garden trimmings, which they love, um, we give them some of the grass from our lawn, or scratch around in, they love it. Um, or whether we're buying in bulk and giving them whole grains on top of some layer mix. Um, on average, you can raise those birds for $43.80 per year. So that's with Purina's organic layer ration. So you can do that cheaper. A non-organic feed fed at a quarter pound a day, um, that's about nine cents a day per chicken. Pretty cheap. Or $31 per year per chicken. And you can get those numbers down again by buying your feed in bulk. That doesn't mean you have to buy great big tote bags, but a lot of your local feed mills or supply stores will sell you by the pallet, um, which I believe is typically 44 bags. Um, you could go in with a fellow small homesteader or farmsteader um, and split that. That's a great way to get the feed discount for both of you um, and not end up with a whole bunch of extra bulk. So why aren't you making this money yet if you already have chickens? Um, for me, we were originally going to get four chickens. Um, I did not know about chicken math when that happened and now we're moving to another country and having a farmstead and living the dream and we're super excited about that. So next option. Um, you can make about $440 a week off the same number of chickens. Yeah, you can. With less work, you don't have to be incubating, you don't have to be having that space set up if you're off grid, um, you name it. So 23 hens, again, will give us about six eggs per week. So that's 138 eggs or 11 and a half dozen per week. So that's on the low side, you'll find hatching eggs selling for $40 a dozen. Now that's the low side, and these are for quality purebred birds again. So don't forget that you are selling a premium product here and take advantage of that. So that's $440 a week. It's pretty good. And again, those numbers don't change for your parent stock and keeping them. Um, you will have costs associated with setting up your coops, your runs, um, whether you're pasture raising, it's totally up to you. Now, when we work in those costs for ourselves, we break that down over a longer time frame. So we estimate the amount of years that we think we'll get out of an item. So a chicken tractor we might, that we have thrown together with some scrap materials, really didn't cost us anything. Um, we expect to maybe get five years out of it. And if it cost us $50 to make, 
that's only $10 a year. So again, that's a pretty cheap investment to be allowing for this income to come in. So another option, keeping those chicks back because who doesn't want this little guy running around and grow them out and sell them as started pullets. Now, the only problem with doing that is you aren't guaranteed that they're all gonna be pullets. You're gonna get stuck with some roosters. We typically sell our chicks straight run so that we don't deal with that. Um, we did start earlier this year, so we do expect to have a bunch held back. So one way to deal with your extra roosters if you don't feel like eating them is to only sell them in pairs, trios, or breeding groups. Another option, you're marking up the cost of your females or pullets and marking down the roosters to make up that difference. You will get people that do want to buy them for for meats. Those are all options and great things to keep in mind um, when you have these little guys around. Um, the hatching eggs, um, I do recommend looking into shipping. Um, we have bought them through eBay. Um, we've always had them come in foam shipping containers. Um, they've always arrived great. Um, do expect lower hatch rates when you ship, so make sure that your customers are aware of that. Um, try to send some extra eggs if you're you're shipping just so you can have some happy customers the loss in hatching them out and selling those chicks individually however they're worth less money in the long run so that's something that you need to decide what you are and aren't comfortable with um, but overall you can be making a lot of money with your chickens with far less um, labor in the long run than selling a dozen eating eggs um, not that I recommend stopping doing that because we love farm fresh eggs and who doesn't and not everybody can have chickens in their backyard. Um, so I don't recommend stopping that, but might want to look at some alternative options as well. Um, so I do recommend when you're getting started out, find those quality birds. Um, build up your own stock. Find the birds that you love. If you love a certain breed, you can sell that breed. We are in love with the Brahmas and Silkies that we've got because they are excellent producers. Um, the Silkies are just cute as little buttons. You can't help but love them. And ours lay a ton of eggs a day and that's because we've held back the hens that produce the, the best for us. Um, they have great temperaments. Our Brahmas are just these big gentle giants that you can't help but love. Um, again, they produce so well for us. Um, they do take a little longer to start laying because they are such a big breed. Um, they do make a good dual purpose bird. Keep in mind that they won't be ready as early as another breed. Um, but again, you can reduce those costs by free ranging your birds. Our birds love to be out on pasture in the summer and we let that happen. They love it. Why would we stop them? Again, decide what works for you. Are you wanting dual purpose? Are you wanting ornamental birds? Some of those birds will bring in a lot of money per chick. However, you aren't going to get as many per year. Typically, they don't, um, haven't really been bred to lay quite as often. Um, so something to keep in mind there. So hopefully you enjoy it. One last look at these cute little fluffy butts. This is one of our little Brahmas here. Um, I keep calling them a him, but I really hope that most of them are female um but we currently breed uh blues and grays we get the odd splash in there anyways we hope you enjoyed the video um comment down below we're happy to help out in any way we can like this video subscribe for upcoming videos on saving some money how you can make money on your farmstead too and join us in our adventures thanks guys